boys. Why the hell, Ronky? Um, we were trying to decide over three, I think, and we just decided this one because we couldn't decide out of any of them. <laughs> so you picked completely different one? Yeah. What were the three that you guys were fighting about? Panther, mouse deer, mouse deer tree frog, and uh, people had multiple different choices, so it was actually like five. Yeah. And one other one. Let me ask you this, how'd you guys finally, because I never heard this group fight. I heard <coughs> other groups fight about what animal they were gonna do. <coughs> I just didn't hear it. How'd you guys decide to do this one? How did we, how did you come to that agreement? Did well, we just we cave and say, let's just do this one or what? No, we were looking through pictures on the internet and someone found a picture and they thought it looked cool, so we did it. So you guys just worked together and figured out which one you wanna do. Well, yeah, we were kind of running out of time, so we just said, okay, we Okay. Something. Well, you compromised at least. I mean, you all kind of came together and picked one, so that's good. All right, Elijah. Let's start with you, big cat. What's something you thought was cool about the Howler monkey? Uh, Just anything you remember that you thought was neat. The pictures. You like pictures? What was your favorite one that you put up there? Or that you liked the best? The one right there in the middle. With the tail? Yeah. Is that a tail? How come that one? He's a cute little fella, isn't he? Not that why? <laughs> okay. Is that his tail that's around him? Yes. It is? Okay. <coughs> Tell us a little bit more about it. Who wants to go next? Uh, okay, John. Their average weight is 15 to 20 pounds. Um, <coughs> they can get up to 6 feet tall. That's kind of crazy that they only weigh 20 pounds and they're 6 feet tall. That'd be like my height, but 20 pounds. Hmm. That is crazy. Surprising that they would weigh that little. But keep going, guys. The baby howler monkeys will cling to their mom, mom's stomach so they can be protected from the harpy eagle. Do you guys have any pictures of that up there? There's a lot of primates that are like that. They'll actually hold on to the bottom side. You guys ever seen that on TV before? Yeah. Yeah? So kind of, I don't know how, what the right way to say it is. Like, hit your little ride. I don't see any. Yeah, we don't have any. Okay, well, that's all right. What else? Uh, their actual howl, howl, uh, howl can be heard one to two miles into the dense jungle forest. What do they use it for, John? Uh, to t say that that's their territory and to attract mates. Okay, so it's a communication device and a warning kind of too. <coughs> what else? Mm, it is known as the loudest land animal. They haven't heard me yell, apparently. <laughs> what? Ray? It's known as the... <laughs> no, okay. So it's loud, makes a howl. What else? Is this the one that had... You remember the video we watched and it had like the neck that got expanded out? Is yeah. This, is this yeah. that one? It's like a thick... No, it actually, I don't know it's this one. That was, yeah, it was, was it a given? Maybe that was a given. It, it was a given. Yeah, I think it was a given. My bad. How about, what do they eat? What kinds of things? Elijah, how, what kinds of things? Look if you need, if you need to. Grass. Okay, so they eat grass. What kinds of other things, guys? Nuts. 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 Figs. Figs. Snails. Fruit. I said snails. Yeah. Flowers. Flowers. So John, what kind of a of a of a consumer would they be? It would be. A Carnivore. Carnivore? Okay. Remember, carnivores eat only meat. Omnivore. There you go. It would be an omnivore. I don't know if you guys have that up there, but it would be an omnivore. Yep, yeah. very good. Because that way, it eats a little bit of everything. It's kind of like the gorilla we talked about. Whatever's around. What else, guys? <coughs> Sometimes exported as pets. Pet. They're often exported as pets, but they're really bad pets because they're very social and very loud. It seems like a howler monkey would make a terrible pet. That would be an amazing yeah. pet. No. Quite like eat your face clock. off while you're sleeping. No. Or it screams at night and wakes you up. That'd be an amazing alarm clock. <laughs> yeah, if you teach it how to wake you up at a certain time. You just have to wake me up. Can they? Are they pets in the United States? 
or just somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. No, because I don't think I don't know if an howler monkey would be a legal pet in the United States. <clears throat> that one looks like Chewbacca. Am I wrong? Right by Elijah. Chewbacca. Oh yeah. Doesn't oh, it, it does. <laughs> yeah, that does look like Chewbacca. There was Elijah. Oh no. Chewbacca. Is that what Star Wars? Who said that? Boge. Boge. Boge, you need to go to the office after saying that. Holy cats and dogs. I never watched uh -huh. that. He just asked who Chewbacca was. I never watched it. Logan doesn't know either. All right, keep moving. Oh, He's the big guy on Star Wars. Ray, go ahead, man. They can be found in tropical Central and South America. They can also be found in New Zealand, Bolivia, Argentina, and Paraguay. Let me ask this, Ray. So it's South America, right? Mm -hmm. What rainforest is that? It's named after a big river, Ray. <laughs> Amazon. Yeah, it's part of the Amazon rainforest. John, was that the only place they're found? Is just in South America? Uh, I think is it Southwest Asia? Oh, really? So like Indonesia? Southwest? No, Southeast Asia must be. South, yeah, Southeast. Okay. Okay. Are they found in the Congo? Because you have a picture of Africa up there for the habitat. That's South America. Uh, it looks like yeah. a lot like Africa. They look the same, but they're not. This is Goshen. Yeah, they're kind of opposite because they fit together. <coughs> Anybody else? Any other thing that you guys want to tell us about? Anybody? Okay, let's give them a hand. Yay! Good job, guys.